Welcome back! And yes, I'm doing another painting tutorial because, yeah, it's the weekend, so I'm taking advantage of um, the weekend! <laughs> so today, I'll be painting um, a food painting and I chose a pizza! So, yes, this is the first time that I'll be painting a pizza. <laughs> so let's begin now. We'll be, we'll be using only a few colors today, which is amazing as always, you know. I really don't like to use a lot of colors as much as possible. So here are the colors. We have cad yellow, red, burnt sienna, permanent yellow deep or transparent yellow, and titanium white, and of course black. That's it. So let's begin now. Let's begin now, guys. I've already sketched the... Wait, I'm just transferring the bucket of water near me. Um, I've already sketched the pizza. It's just a slice of pizza. It's not the whole pizza because as you know me um, when I do still life paintings uh, Usually it's just one subject or a piece of it not the whole thing. So yes, let's begin now I'm gonna underpaint first my pizza <laughs> So okay, let's okay. Watch your brush and then get your white, titanium white. Add cad yellow to that. All right, like this. Tiny bit of black, just to tone it down so that it's not really like super yellowy. Okay, and then add again some white. And add a little bit of burnt sienna. Just tiny bit of burnt sienna. All right, like this. All right. Okay, and then I might add a little more titanium white. Let's, um, yeah, okay, let's begin now. So we're gonna do first the, the crust. Is this the crust? Okay, like that. This is going to be fun, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, like this. We'll be also we'll also concern ourselves with perspective even if it's just a simple pizza thing we'll be doing or we'll be respecting um perspective so like that that's that's just the underpainting and then i'm gonna get my cad yellow mixed with burnt sienna or red if you want uh, you can water it down just to underpaint the main the the main um, pizza the what do you call this the the pie yeah it is the pie this is just for underpainting it has nothing to do with the, the pizza sauce and all that. that one okay like this this is just the underpainting okay, you don't have to be really 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 careful in painting this one because this is um, uh, food painting usually food are not really in a very uh, structured manner I mean the look of it all right like that Okay, so wash your brush out now. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use another brush, just a little pointy one. Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of red. Okay, add black to that. And we're just gonna draw the um, pepperoni slices. Again, I've already sketched it, but I painted over it because of the underpainting. So, I'm just redoing it. So, we're now doing the pepperoni slices. I'm feeling that we'll be finished quite early with this one because this is not a super hard subject. Okay, again, get your burnt sienna. Maybe add a tiny bit of yellow, add red like this, and add black like that. Maybe add more red, 
kind of like the the reddish color we're gonna make something here oh that's super thick that okay and then let's make another one here okay I'm gonna make it near okay like that <laughs> this is fun, right? It's so fun. Okay, so wash your brush out. Those are just the shapes of the pepperoni slices, but we'll do more detailing a little bit later. So we're going to do the pizza sauce now. So I want you to get your red color. Red. Add some cad yellow. Burnt sienna again. Is this the same? It's just the same color, but we're removing the black color. So red, then burnt sienna. You may or may not mix them very well because you know we're doing some like saucy image, so it should not be a little too uh, strict when it comes to blending. So I'm going to water it down. Again, this is more technical than anything else. So I'm just watering it down. And I'm going to apply it as if I am actually applying the pizza sauce on the real thing. Okay, so that's my technique, guys. Um, if I'm painting fluid, I might as well apply it as if I am applying the real thing on the painting. I will use my uh, fingers later in blending, but you know, I just wash my hands. So I, I feel like dirtying it again, but I will, definitely I will. You know me, I always use my hands. Okay, yeah, now I'm using it. Can't help it. <laughs> All right, so I, the way I'm applying it is the way a pizza sauce should look like on a pizza slice you know that like very scattered and they're everywhere all right and here as well and we'll be doing a lot more layering later but for now let's just stick to this Don't make any hard lines when you do this because, again, pizza sauce, right? You know what? Unless you haven't eaten a pizza or at least have you have seen it, posters and all that. If you don't eat pizza, you don't have to eat pizza for you to actually see what a pizza is. <laughs> Alright, like that. Okay, I'm gonna make some more pizza sauce here. Okay, here it's up. All right, here. Okay, wash your brush out now. I'm gonna make some light yellow. So get your cat yellow, get white. So it's like um, light yellow. <laughs> light yellow I'm gonna water it down and apply it you know while my paint is still wet like that so we're trying to get that appearance of cheese melted one okay so yeah I'm watering it down I always use the watered down technique 
I don't know if there are artists out there who use the same technique, but this is my technique and I'm just so proud of it because, yeah. Water down so you can go in between those red um, pizza sauce. <laughs> like that and here I'm gonna add more white to my yellow we're trying to make the appearance of a thick pizza all right get back to your red and the pizza sauce color you can add it like that okay you can wash your brush out now i'm gonna make some light brown colors to so get your burnt sienna add a tiny bit of white all right burnt sienna again okay i'm just gonna apply it here actually this is quite dark to be honest but i'm just gonna apply it like that along the the edge of our pizza crust make some appearance of natural crust by dry brushing it this way okay like that all right here okay i'm gonna get Okay, remember the, the mixture that we had for this area? I'm just going to add a tiny bit of or more white this time. More white. You can rewind the video so that you see again the color mixture for that. But basically, it's just yellow and white plus a tiny bit of brown. So just add more white. And of course, just use your fingers to um, spread it quite evenly. But only the middle part will be... Oh, I really like that effect. That flowy, flowy thing. And then make it appear thick. Or give it some dimension. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, get your brownie color. Add some tiny bit of black. Okay, not too much though. I think this is too much. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to that. I don't want too black thing. We're just gonna make some um, definition. Okay, this is quite, my brush is quite thick, but okay, it's all right. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna, rip, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fix that later. As long as I get that defined, um, line for the pizza all right like that okay i'm gonna apply more okay wash your brush out wash your brush out guys okay get your red just pure red plus burnt sienna okay Pure red is burnt sienna, and we're gonna go back to the pizza sauce now. But this time, we're going to make dark um, shading for the pizza sauce. Again, sometimes I would use the watered down technique, you know, just for me to actually give this some um, appearance or natural appearance.
Okay, wash your brush out now. Just wash your brush out. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my burnt sienna plus white. So it's like light browny color. Again, burnt sienna plus white. We're gonna make some highlights on the pepperoni. You can add a little bit, a little bit of white or more white. to that light or to the or more light brown so it's just burnt sienna plus white right here right like that all right wash your brush out I'm gonna change brush uh, just get a more pointy brush because we're gonna define something so get your black color we're gonna make this a little more like burnt you know just to be real because sometimes they got they get burnt right I'm gonna use this black and mix it with my red color so that we make some dark red color. I'm gonna use it to define um, the pepperoni. Oh my gosh, now I realize I love this pepperoni pizza <laughs> because I love Iron Man, okay? And you know, um, the name or the term that they are being called, Iron Man and his um, wife, um, Pepper, it's pepperoni, right? Gosh, I only realized today. I'm in this moment. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just gonna define my pepperoni. Okay, wash your brush out. All right, now I'm going to get my transparent yellow. So just get your transparent yellow and I'm going to water it down and apply it quite random on the pizza sauce. Okay. Again, it's just transparent yellow. If you don't have the transparent yellow, you don't have to worry so much. <laughs> Just get your cat yellow and add more water and then glaze it, your pizza. Okay, I'm gonna go along the crust. Like that. Like this. All right, okay, wash your brush out. Okay, now I want you to get your titanium white and make some um, blobs of white here, down here. This is to suggest the thickness of the crust here. So again, titanium white 
you can go here to highlight our pepper our pizza make some highlights here okay I'm gonna water down my white and I'm gonna apply it here And here as well. Okay, so I'm just using my titanium white, going over again some areas that needs to be a little or that needs to appear a little more light compared to the other areas. Again, perspective. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get again my permanent yellow, deep or transparent yellow. And I'm just gonna go over here. And here. Okay, I'm gonna add white to my permanent yellow or add to your cat yellow just make this area a little bright or some areas if you want particular areas to be bright doesn't have to be the exact same thing that I've been doing all right like that okay now get your red color red add tiny bit of yellow to make some orangey not orangey but like muted orange so that it's not absolutely orange just continue doing the sauce okay get some dark reds and browns here here and there For, my, uh, for me, doing this type of painting, like food painting especially, is like doing an abstract that um, directly makes sense. You know that? You know abstract is, the abstract paintings, they have meanings depending on the viewer or the audience, right? And the art artist himself or herself. But for paintings like this, it's like doing an abstract painting, but you get the full sense of it already upon looking at it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to add a tiny bit of orangey mixture just to lighten some part of the meat or the pepperoni. Make it a little light. Right. Okay, now I'm going to darken some areas, especially here. Okay, wash your brush out now. Okay, again, darken. Darken some areas. Oops, that's too dark. And add some red because I don't want it too dark. Okay, 
I'm just gonna define the pizza even more. Make some uneven um, edges. All right, wash your brush out. Okay. I'm gonna get some like gray color. So get your titanium white, add some black to that to make some gray color. Maybe add some red so that we don't deviate so much um, from the general color of the pizza, which is red, uh, which is red in general, of course. Right. We're just again going over. Make some highlights, some dots. Okay, get your pure titanium white. And let's go back to this area. All right, like that. Okay. Okay, get some more yellow. Okay, I'm gonna lighten the crust now. I'm gonna use my, yeah, the, the yellow on my paintbrush plus white and I'm just gonna spread it evenly here just to remove that super hard dark color that I was, uh, mm, that I did, okay? All right, so wash your brush out now. Wash your brush out. Okay, wait, I wonder how it looks like. Okay, for now, it's going to be like that. I'm going to make some shadows. Okay, just going to make some shadows. So I want you to get your gray color. Mm, get white. Okay. And then add just tiny bit of black okay like this gray kind of color maybe add a little more all right and let's try um, if this is too gray then we're gonna paint over some white so that you know it doesn't look weird so I'm gonna make some shadows okay that's too gray I think I'm gonna add more white All right, this is this is enough. So just add some grayness here. Like that. And as you go up, try to add more white because that will suggest perspective and light. Okay, as you go up. like that okay I think that's good it's really good okay as simple as that <laughs> yep okay I'm gonna get more white just to fix this all right okay what should we shout now Okay, I think I, I overdid the white thing, so I'm going to get more gray. Just adjust it. Um, and blend well. Okay. And then white. that 
Okay. How is it? All right. Okay, I'm gonna get more white, white, and mix it with my permanent yellow. We're gonna make some highlights, guys. Okay, make some more yellow or light yellow. Just highlight some areas. Make some dots. Dots here and there. Okay, so I'm just using my permanent or transparent yellow plus white. You can do this actually, you know, you, you can do this forever. As long as um, if you want it more saucy, you know that. You can do that. Okay, that keep adding, keep adjusting it. Okay, I'm gonna add more reddish orange color. So just keep on mixing and besides I've already told you the colors. So when I say use orange, you can use your orange. Now I'm just using some light orange just to lighten things up a bit. And let's go back to dark red. So just mix your red plus brown. Okay. Titanium white always makes the colors more um, opaque. So you can wash a brush if you're doing some darker colors because the white will affect the the value of the colors all right like that All right, I'm going to make some orange. So I'm going to mix my red with yellow. Make this a little more orangey. I'm gonna make some brown so get your burnt sienna and make some little burnt area here on the crust and dot some black like that okay I'm gonna get more of my reddish color okay I'm gonna get my red this oh, I'm sorry my white <laughs> and make some more um, random markings here just to make it appear like more real Okay, and make your crust look um, natural by making some more marks that are found on a bread, you know, usually. Okay. 
All right. So I'm going to get my gray color. Gray, but not too gray. Add more white to that. Just mm, like this. Right, like that. Okay. Very um, subtle. Okay. Then add some dark brown here. We're going to gray this area, get your gray color, and then just make it a little gray because, again, perspective. We don't want this to be too, like, in your face as if the picture is flat. So just gray this area. Gray it. Even this. Again, just make it a little gray here. Okay, here. All right. Push your brush out. Okay, I'm gonna make some light yellow. Yellow plus white. Right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get again my transparent yellow. I'm gonna go around the edge or along the edge of our pizza sauce. Right, I'm gonna make some water down reds, guys. Water down. I'm gonna spread it using my fingers. Because, yeah, I want it to give some natural, like flowy sauce. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my white. Okay, I'm just gonna make some tiny bit of highlights, not too much. Okay, like that. Here I'm gonna make some light yellow. So just mix your yellow with white. Like this.
Okay, we're gonna add white to this area. You know, just keep going, keep going because um, layering will help. Okay, add more white. All right, wash your brush up. Okay, I'm gonna get my red and black. Red and black. I'm just gonna define again my pepperoni. Okay, I'm gonna add more red this time. Oops, there's some yellow. It's all right. If you hear that, that's my neighbor. Right? Okay, wash your brush out again. Okay, or use another brush. Get sure titanium white. Pure titanium white and make some tiny highlights of white here and there. Again, titanium white. Okay, I'm gonna add, right? Get your burnt sienna and water it down and apply it um, randomly on the pizza sauce. This is just to give it some texture of cooked. You know that? That a cooked meal has some brownie, brownie spots in there. Wash your brush out. Okay. 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 Get your titanium white. Sorry, guys. 
make some more highlights this tiny bit Okay, I'm going to make it more yellow here. Okay, now you can get your clean brush, just get your white, or at least me because I have to fix this. I went over the line. Okay. Like that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to get my permanent yellow deep or transparent yellow again. Watered it down and I'm just going to make some thin glazes of that here at the bottom portion of the image okay like that okay now i'm gonna make get your black Maybe add a tiny bit of brown so that it's not absolutely brown, I mean black. Just redefine the pepperoni. tiny um, shading here like that not too much don't overdo this uh, step okay now get your dark your brown plus white no 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 brown 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 plus yellow cad yellow like that and again, go back to the crust, make some more markings. So, like that, just to make it look more natural. Like that. Okay, I'm going to add more white this area. Okay, like that. More natural markings. All right. Wash your brush out. And then I'm going to use my white to make more um, natural appearance here. Natural appearance. Yeah, natural, um, yeah, markings.
here I'm gonna lighten this area because um, this is quite far from the audience so it should not appear as bright as this area I mean down here because it's near us Suggestion of light. Here as well. I'm just making it quite light. Okay. Permanent yellow deep. Okay, brown and reds again, just keep coming back. Picture black. Just go along those highlights. white just fix the shadow all right nice <laughs> okay I'm gonna add more highlights just a few more and we're done Just a few more. Okay, black and red. Then red. Here. Wash your brush up, make some orangey color, so add more yellow to your red, more yellow. And again, just go in between those reds and yellows for us to get that liquidy appearance or cheesy appearance. <laughs> Oops, 
think I I lost the the tiny bit of marking here. Kind of add something. Then center black. Okay, I'm gonna make the this meat a little. Okay, I'm gonna add the like orangey color. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. too much okay almost done guys the Sun is shining again it was raining a couple of hours ago but now it's back Some light reds here. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is nice. Right? I have to sign it now. Oh, wait. Wait, guys. I have to. Make some more markings like that. All right. Okay, I had to sign it now. I'm gonna use my black and sign my pizza painting. So, oops, quite watery. Yep, sign. But, uh-huh, I think I have to get more white. So I'm just gonna get my titanium white for our last step, just to give it more like light. Okay, so what's your brush? This is a new brush, I mean new because it's clean, not because it's um, newly bought. So I'm just gonna get my white and highlight this or lighten this area. And along the, the line like that. And here, make some make it a little brighter. Oops. like that all right okay one last guys make some more markings as if you're applying pizza sauce again As I told you, you can actually do this whole day. Yes, I think this is done.
It should be done. <laughs> but I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop adding more details. It's so addicting. Okay, white. Right? I think this is good. Okay, so we're done, guys. Yes, we're done, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video. That was a quick one. All right? So, yay! See you in my next video, guys.